So this video might upset some, others I think will appreciate the message behind it. At the end of the day though, I personally am trying to look out for the longevity of this game and things like this will ruin it for so many players. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So as you can see by the title, modded items have made their way onto consoles, both PS4 and Xbox. And no, these are not modded items in terms of switching and adding anointments to weapons and so forth. These are modded items that have been transferred over from PC, so they've been created on PC and transferred over. Now I know how this is done, but I ain't gonna bother trying and explain it and how it works because I'm actually against modded items as such. I feel in the long run they completely take away the whole point of Borderlands. Now I created a video on my Winter Soldier Zane build about a week or so ago. A build where I use this shield you can see on the screen now. I said in the video this shield is amazing for this build but the perfect variant would be this version, this cryo old god shield but with the prefix of two times a vagabond. That would be literally incredible, that would be perfect, that would be top tier for Zane. The other day I switched my Xbox on, checked my mail and saw this shield had been sent to me and my jaw literally hit the floor. I couldn't actually believe someone had actually found this shield. It's perfect for Zane, as I'm sure you would agree. I then jumped on my Discord and shared a screenshot with a couple of my pals, who are massively into Borderlands. I was quickly informed that this shield was indeed modded, created on PC and sent to console because many shields are currently bugged and don't drop with certain anointments and prefixes. And that this person knew of many many items that had been created which would match items to a T which are in the loop pool which could possibly drop, just like the shield. And the person behind these modded items created them with the sole purpose of because they're basically bugged on console at the minute. So he's basically creating items that were bugged and just giving them out. And this shield supposedly is one of them. And that there kinda lays down one problem. The whole point of Borderlands is to farm for that perfect item. But now you don't really have to because someone can create the item on PC and transfer it over to console. Now the person who created this shield obviously had good intentions, but not everybody's like that. Now here it's kind of a sticky situation. What if you'd farm for an item which you know is in that loot pool and you farm for hours, days, weeks? and you haven't had any luck. But not knowing to you the reason you haven't had any luck is because said item is bugged and can't drop. Then someone sends you that exact item which you've been searching for. You not knowing it's bugged and it can't drop. Later on down the line, you are told that that item that you were sent was indeed modded on PC and sent over. How would you feel about that? It is a weird one to think about if I'm totally honest. I can understand both scenarios. I mean, I'd be pretty pissed off if I'd farmed for an item for a week, even longer, not knowing it was bugged and can't drop. And if, to be honest, someone sent me that said item, which wasn't any more powerful than what it would be if it did drop and weren't bugged, I can't say I'd say no to it, if I'm honest. My issue is though, and that is the fact people can now just create all the major items people chase, start charging for them and so forth if they want to. I mean, I've already seen this happening. I've seen it on my Discord already. And the truth of the matter is, you wouldn't even know the item in which you are buying or trading for is modded as it would match the item down to an absolute T which is currently evading you in that loot pool. By the way I am 1000% against anyone selling items in this game, that's just another level of roach in my opinion. But hey people do what they want to do. Now I know modded items don't in reality affect anyone but the user and to be honest I don't care about the fact people mod items and indeed abuse them. That's completely down to the user. In fact, I ain't even against a kind of system which allows us to create or mod weapons in game, but obviously as long as limitations are in place, that'd actually be pretty badass. What I can't agree on though are items like this one you can see here, which was sent to me by my pal, for video demonstration purposes only, which has made its way over from PC. What we are seeing here is next level, absorbing the transformer stopgap, 107k shields, stopgap with that transformer prefix twice, I mean this is just absolutely broken and it ain't the first to make its run to console and it won't be the last. And the thing is it don't end with shields like this, there are weapons out there which completely take away from the point of the game. There are many many items that have been transferred over from PC which ruin the experience as a whole. But guys, this is just my opinion. Would I prefer such items not to be on console? Of course I would. Can I do anything about it? No I can't, not really. 
And would I hold it against anyone out there who wants to use such items? No, I wouldn't. You paid for the game, you play it how you choose. The message I put forth is, which is the one behind this video, is basically to just pass on the message of modded items are now on console. And the limits behind them? Well, actually, there are no limits. This is something I know ruins it for many players, but others do enjoy. What I am going to do though is directly send this to Gearbox, and I personally guarantee you people that they will be made aware of the fact that modded items are now floating about, and it's mainly down to the fact that they can be transferred across platforms. If they decide to take it away or do anything about it, that's completely down to them. So yeah guys, just a quick video showcasing the fact modded items are now on console. We all knew it wasn't going to be too long to be honest, but now they are here. On that note guys, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.